Oh shit. Deku, what are you gonna do? Fuck who go! Oh bless. Tiffany and welcome back to my channel if you're enjoying my my hero academia season 6 reactions please remember to like the videos hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon that's next to it because it alerts you when a new video has been posted also check out the description below because you can find the playlist to my my hero academia reactions and you can also find um, links to my other socials so you could drop me some support over there as well and I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, by doing everything that I've just stated, this lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content. Therefore, they'll push it out more. So the shout out for this video goes to Ray C. Thank you so much for taking the time out to comment on my last video. Much, much appreciated. So last episode was immaculate. It was just immaculate. We got to see... Deku as his finest and it's, it's so amazing to see from how he started in season one to him in season six the way he uses his power the way he analyzes the way he executes his plan it's it's so amazing to see and we're seeing I think Deku is one of them MCs that yes he is he is determined to get his goal but he also know the consequences of going too much. So he doesn't, he tries his very best not to go 100%. As you can see with his attack, he called it Fox 100%. So it's like, yes, if he was able to handle uh, one for all at 100%, he'd be able to do what he's doing now. But he's doing a combination of different moves at the same time that gives him that element or that, um, that structure that he's actually doing it 100% but he's not he's just accumulating all his powers together and we met Lady Nagan and again as I said I get her I get why she was the idea of working for all for one did not sway her even though she was a hero because she's seen the underbelly of the hero society she is seeing what the hero commission would do to keep that um, clean essence of hero heroism. Like they didn't want to go down the vigilante route, so they killed off the vigilantes. Any heroes that was going outside the scope of what the commission thought a hero should be got executed. They didn't go on trial. They didn't get their time in court. They just got executed and that messed with her because she was like, well, I am definitely not a hero. The, the, this, and you're praying, especially praying on children and you see her with the former chairman and then again the former chairwoman when they came to, I guess, recruit her. She was young. She was impressionable. They're saying all the right things that make her like, yes, you saw them do it with hawks. And she had a conversation with Hawk saying, how can you two stay so positive? And he said, at the end of the day, yes, we know hero society is the way it is, but there are great heroes up there that supported us. Hawks had Endeavor. Deku had All Might. He then eventually got Hawks. He then eventually got Endeavor. So they were able to at least get some people to know what they're fighting for. And... Because she broke, we see that Alpha One is when he's giving out quirks, he's not giving it out for free. Like if you turn on him, it's going to uh, explode and Lady Nagan um exploded. I don't know if she's dying or if she's critically hurt. I thought we'd have had her a little longer, but we'll see how it goes. But MHA has just turned dark and it's staying dark. I didn't expect it to stay as dark. I didn't expect it to get this dark and stay as dark as it has been, but they're going with it and I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So we're going on to 
episode 22 of season 6 which is episode 135 and it's called friend with that being said let's jump into this reaction Oh, that ain't that what um Dabi was? Oh, it could, well, it, I thought that was the mansion Dabi was. Oh, we got everybody back at least. We got to see the monk lady and I see Kamul Wood. Headshot. Deku. Deku, calm down. Oh, I'm loving his mask so much now. Jesus Christ. Now him clapping. There's devil music. こせだなんだと個人主義を歌っていても結局管理社会合わない子は排斥するだけ。ヒーライ。恋愛はないよ。生命の原則だよ。君の選んだ道は茨り終わりはこない。ジーザス。極中でね。どこと考えてた。僕
Look at him. He looks so demonic. Oh my god. 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 You gotta listen. Jesus, I just saved you. He's so one track minded now. Mom and dad might. Mm. He looks so demonic. He's gonna drop. Uh, yeah. You're too tired. Oh, Lord. Is it Sasori, you in the wrong? Chai, you in the wrong? Sasori, you in the wrong anime? Oh, hey, a dictator. Oh, he being the puppet master. You have no strength, boy. He's okay. Mm, he uses people. You're gonna hurt them. Oh shit, Deku, what you gonna do? Oh, bless. Our friend. I, lo I love it. After。それ本当に。18円で私と犬。あの、その後、即連絡をして確認を取ったんじゃないのか。行くどうもしたさ。they're not gonna pick up no oh yeah i forgot that's really all adventures together that's full bill <laughs> the only person he called her right there was all right Hey, Baku will break it up. Mushiro Ansh the Injanavi. I end the Batachori. They could not cotomo. All my to cotomo stir. And endeavor, he called it the right name. Kanga, you will say Yakno Patanda. End the bat to you as a tone. Go in Nico. Oh, shit. Now you are mobbing. <笑>いいねいいね。彼らの話を聞いて、会話の余地があると判断した。フルーした。遠野にを一緒に止めようって言ったよな。エンデバー。デクとオールマイトを二人にしてるだろう。ああ、正しいと思うぜ。大胸正
I get what he's saying. You need a personality that is different. Um, yeah, exactly as you see, All um, Might couldn't talk to him anymore. Because they're too similar. Ah! You could have just asked for it. Mm. Oh, the opening now makes sense when they all found him back. You're walking them. あ、ヒケカムバック。私た以上は彼は私たちが守るべき。おいで、ここが君の黄色アカデミアさ。黄色アカデミア。私は we still doing the festival? Oh shit. No, we not calling you that. We are not calling you that. Yeah, run away from heroes. Yeah, you gonna get one hit. You gonna get hit for Bakugo. Oh, you gonna Bakugo is gonna hit you so hard. Uh oh, uh oh, Bakugo, careful. Ooh, I forgot about that. No, you can't. They go take you down. Oh, <laughs> oh my wannabe! Oh lord. Deku versus Class 1A. Eh? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Like, it's so funny how Deku kind of just contradicted me. I was like, I like how Deku, even though. He knows his dad's hand will not push himself. Epi episode, come on. Deku pushing himself through the limits. Like, yeah, don't contradict me. Don't make me out to be a liar, Deku. But you get it. You get it. He's not overdoing it power-wise. Like, he's not. He's making sure not to go 100%. But he's overdoing it in the terms of he's like, I need to get everybody to smile again. I need to get to Shigaraki. I need to get to Alpha One. I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to. And he's forgetting the basic of being a hero. And that is reassuring people. That is protecting people. He's protecting, but as you can see, the people he saved are more scared of him than when they were getting attacked by the villains. And it's like, well... And you kind of see why. You see how drastically his, his um, outfit has changed. That he looks demonic. You will be terrified to be saved by someone like that because you're like, um. And now look how scary it is to people to know if you have multiple quirks. They automatically automatically assume that you're all for one minion if you have multiple quirks. Like, because again, that is just as being quirkless is very strange. Having multiple quirks is very strange as well. And there's one thing I always love about Class 1A the bond that they have again they, as they said we've only known each other for a year but look how close they are they're going down and said we are going to get deku we're going to bring deku back with our own hand and i love look how bakugo bakugo really really does know deku he's like you match deku and all might together the worst combination ever because they are the same personality and it's going to come to a point where all might cannot talk to deku and we see it. We see the most painful scene in in the whole MA of Deku not looking back. 
at All Might. All Might is trying to catch his boy and he fell. Deku didn't look back once. But we see why Deku is doing that. That prophecy is still there. The, pro- the prophecy uh, um, uh, um, night I made was that you will die a gruesome death is still there. Which is why Deku is keeping him as arm length. Because now is the time that that could happen. He is defenseless. Yes, there are going to be villains and heroes that still respect the hell out of All Might. We saw um, last episode of them being scared of him. I'm sure he can still... He might be able to do physical con- combat, but that's going to be limited because you can see he's still coughing the blood. That The, the body he's in is still weak. So, at any time, that, that prophecy can come true in this point, day and time. And then you have all for one, just, just digging at Deku, especially using terms that All Might has used on Deku. Like, next, it's your turn. And pointing the same way All Might did to him when he said, it's your turn. So Deku has so much going on, and I'm loving that it is going to be his friend that is going to make sure that he gets his head back. He can still be Vigilante Deku. Well, in essence, he's going to still be Vigilante Deku, but he needs to also retain the Deku that we love. The one that always trying his best to smile. The always one who's trying to help. And st- he's too focused. And I love that when Bakugo came up on the, se- on the screen, it put friend. Because yes, Bakugo and Deku has gone through tribulations together for them to be in an understanding with each other. To them being able to actually be able to use that term friend. And you see that Shoto was upset that he felt like Deku couldn't talk to him. He's angry at his dad, like, you keeping this from me, you keeping Deku from me. No. And I'm loving, <laughs> even though it was, I feel a little unnecessary, them slapping a the GPS from Endeavor Hand. He was good. I think he was going to give it to them. But, again, you you don't know what these adults are thinking. But I'm really grateful to the president of saying that, hey, because I'm thinking from my understanding, it seems like if you leave the hero course, you can't come back. Maybe I'm wrong. You could correct me in the comments if that is incorrect thinking. But but from the way he was talking, he, it seemed like once you leave the hero um, course, you can't come back. But he said, I will accept him back once you bring him. And I, and I assume it's like that is only true also because he's telling the kids, if you bring him back, that is fine. I guess adults... But he then said, yes, I agree to let him leave with adults. So I'm like, yeah, if you bring him back, he'll be accepted. We are much more. And the, so I'll, there was right. The evacuees are at the UA. So he's like, don't worry about that. We are going, we are much more than that. That We can keep the evacuees safe. We can have Deku here. But I guess that's their way of bringing back hope too. And it's so crazy. Look. Let's say this has been a month. Look at the desecration of the society as a whole in one month of them losing their trust in heroes, them um, relying on their own strength and killing themselves and causing further damage. And then you have heroes that you think will not leave, leaving like I didn't see dead arms. I was like, dead arms? Who is dead arms again? Then you show who dead arms is. I'm like, he left? Yeah, didn't see that coming. So it, it's so heartbreaking to see where everyone's going, what everyone is trying to do. And hopefully we can knock some sense to Deku because it looks like it's going to be Class 1A versus Deku because Deku's not going down with a fight. But, uh, amazing storytelling, amazing storytelling. With that being said, if you enjoy my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, Leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, a like is some um, a comment. A share of this video goes a long way to expand this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye.